Oh, not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Not good, not good. Oh, I can't even run. Okay, here. We need to take this now. Come on, load! Okay, we'll switch back to normal rounds now. There's a ladder up there. Oh, look at that. Working workbench. That's good to know. You know what we could do? So we could set a land claim block down, pick that up, and take it back to our base. Well, I have to fight a couple of Zs on the way when we get back, but that's okay. We can do that. Okay, so is there anybody up there? Whoops. Sure sounds like there's a sleeper somewhere. Okay, so that, that leads up into the attic. So let's come back here. Let's finish the house first, and then we'll come back here. I'll take those right now. Big Mama. Go down, Big Mama. Okay. All right, let's get all these triggers out of the way. So she popped out of here. Toolbox. Military armor parts. All right. And we got a purse up here. Nice. I'll take that. And I'll take all that. Cool. All right. Let's finish looting this garage. And then we're probably going to have to stow some stuff. Because... Uh, we're getting encumbered here. It's a cool looking tool chest. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that. We'll keep the the water. Oh, and the car. All right, all good stuff. Um, but we need to stash some things now. I'd rather not do it in the house. However, now that we have a workbench here, I mean, the, the main advantage to this workbench is we could, if we needed to do something at night, we could, whereas we have to wait till the daytime for the trader. Not that that's a huge deal because it's kind of more of a, just a plan and ahead thing. But let's pop through here. And I'm just going to set a, a chest down out here for now to put some stuff in. Oh, not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Not good, not good. Oh, I can't even run. Okay, here. I was trying to... Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, here. We need to take this now. Come on, load! It's so hard to tell where to shoot. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Man. Of that was like really bad timing too. 
<laughs> Terrible timing. Because I'm like totally in cover, so there's no way I was going to run away from him. And then I was like fumbling around, you know, trying to get the, you know, the medical kit. And then it's like, well, I should probably pop the, you know, the, uh, the grandpa's elixir stuff. Oh, geez, Louise. Well, we survived. That's the important thing. That's the important thing. We'll get rid of that. We'll keep the spring. We'll scrap this. Oh, my goodness. That was intense. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll put that in there. All of these clothes can go in there. The murky can go in there. I mean, I didn't even really have time to, like, I could have tried to use the Molotovs, but there just was no time. All right. We'll put that in there. Uh, we'll put the cloth in there. We don't really need the shovel in the house. Uh, I don't think we do anyways for anything. Uh, food is good at the moment, so we don't need to take that in either. All right, let's just run with this and we'll see how things go. Uh, I'm going to put the beer down here now that we no longer have Grandpa's elixir. Yeah, that uh, that elixir stuff, man, I'll tell you what. it's um, I mean, it's nice to have it all, but it's super hard to see what the hell you're shooting. Here, let's just take one of these, and we'll make a new one to replace it. I'll just make one for now. Okay, back in business here. <clears throat> so let's finish the house, and then we'll head up to the attic. So we got another room in here that we have to do. Thank goodness for AKs, right? <laughs> I don't know if I got that down in time or not. Did I? I did. Okay, good. Oh, she's feral. This song, this Zeke was feral here. Scary. Feral zombie hanging out in the laundry room. Yep, look at her glowing eye there. Whew. Okay. That probably just goes out to the yard, I'm betting. Anything else in there? Those are not lootable. And I don't see anything up there. What about up on that shelf, though? It's kind of funny because I mean who would put a laundry shelf that high up? I can't reach it. Whoa! Ah shoot, I hate it when that happens. Try it again. Yep, nothing there. Okay. Alright, so we just have to hit the uh the attic now. So let's put a frame there. And we should be able to just go right on up here. Anything over on those spots? I don't see it. I don't see anything. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, shit. I hit that. I didn't hear <clears throat> a sleeper wake, wake up, though, so... Let's get rid of that, and get rid of that, and get rid of that. Interesting hiding the plot, uh, plot, place. I tried to say spot and place at the same time. Denim pants and scrap leg armor. All right, we're going to scrap this. We'll get rid of that and get rid of that and scrap this. I'll keep the pants for the moment. This will get us some more cloth. And let us check behind here and see if there's anything to loot. But I'm uh, not seeing anything. Here, we'll grab this too. <clears throat> Block that for a second, and we'll harp.
harvest this. Suppose I could use my wrench on it, but probably should have done that, huh? There we go. Okay, cool. So that gives us enough cloth to uh, turn the rest of that aloe cream into uh, bandages when the time comes. Okay, it looks like that's the prize loot over there. Oh, uh, look at that. Feral, too. Okay. Uh, let's switch to hollow points. Oh, shit! Oh, it's too hot. We gotta go. I can take, take one or two, but not that many all at the same time. In that, such an enclosed spot. Okay, so the feral's down. Oh, look, there's even an infected one, too. Off of their head. Whew! <laughs> okay. <clears> that <throat> ah, doesn't surprise me that there was that many Zeeks up there. Hopefully that's the last of them. Probably is, but let's just keep being our guard just in case. So I'm not seeing anybody else up here. Ah, okay. This is the prize room. And this is that uh, big open area in the living room that we saw from down below. And it looks like... Is there something over there too? Sure kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe in that room there. Okay, well, here, let's uh, let's do all this stuff in here first. Uh, so I'm going to... Uh, let's put the wrench down here. There's a timer. I'll keep you with me just a little bit longer and we'll finish this up. I uh, can't use a wrench on that, but I can on this. Get a few parts. Never a bad thing. Get cloth from that, and from that, and this. We'll check and see what's in here. Nice, I'll take all that. Uh, I don't really care about getting cobble right now. That's not super important. And we got something in here. I just want to, I'm going to break it so I see what's actually in there. As opposed to trying to get through the side. Oh, it's just trash. Okay. Well, trash with cash. Trash with cash. That's what we like to see. Is trash with cash. All right. Anything? Oh, look at that. There's something up there. Can we just nab it like this? Uh, there we go. Jars. We don't need jars. Very easy to make now. Okay, that's it for this room. Now for the good room. Give us the ammo, baby. Give us the ammo. We got some medical over here. Nice. We'll take that. And then we got a couple of boxes to break open. Hopefully this is not an... Is he? Okay, good. It's not locked. Military leg armor. Oh, that's armor. That's not pants. And a magazine extender steel leg armor. Ho! Oh. Jackpot, baby. Jackpot. Okay. I'll take it. What do we got in here? Uh, all right. We'll take that stuff and shotgun messiah crate. Hunting rifle. Yep. Okay. All good stuff. All good stuff. All right. Let's take a quick look at this armor here. Um, so we're currently wearing leather leg armor. We Is steel or military better? So this gives 12 armor rating. That only gives 10, but this is light armor. Effect resistance is 20%. Effect resistance is 21%. Um, I think... Oh, the, even though... Yeah, see, this all has has 100 
more points of durability, but this has 20% noise increase. I mean, they're, you know, overall, they're both really good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do though is let's go with, let's go with the heavier stuff for the moment. Uh, I actually don't have any armor on at all. Uh, okay. Yeah. We'll go with the heavier stuff. And, oh, here we go. I was going to say, didn't I have a, some armor on with a mod in it? So we'll take that out. Modify. All right. And then we'll wear that. We'll, we'll hang on to this leather leg armor for now, too. Um, now, what else did we get? Uh, chest armor. Okay. Now, we don't need that. Now, this magazine extender, I am tempted to, I am tempted to remove the Crippleum because I'm just not seeing that proc very much. And instead, put this guy on. Because now, we're going to get, uh, be able to put more rounds in the chamber. 22 as opposed to the 14 that it was before. I think that's going to help uh, quite a bit. Very cool. All right. Well, guys, um, let's let's just go see what's over there. Uh, I think there's a ledge that I can walk on out here, so let's just bust this out really quick. There's a purse up there too, just so we can completely finish the place out. And then we got to skedaddle back to the trader to turn this in before it's too late, because it's getting getting late in the day here. Can we walk across here? Yeah, we got a bird's nest, and then we've got something here. Looks like it's just trash that's in there. No trash with cash that time. Okay, we got some soup. You know what? Let's take that right now. Miso. Let's grab that. And then let's finally break into here. Oh, look at this. It's a hidden room. How cool is that? <laughs> It's a hidden room. Anything behind there? More bullets. Excellent. Some duct tape. Oh, uh, what do we want to get rid of? Let's... We're not really thirsty right at the moment. Um, 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 um. I mean, we can, we can make pipes easily. So let's scrap those and we can get the duct tape. And we'll see what's in this shipping crate. Iron leg armor. Okay. We just got steel armor. And... How is it that this has more armor rating than the steel armor? It's got less effect resistance and less durability, but it's got one point more armor. I don't know. That's weird. That is really odd. Okay, well, let's see. I think we can part with four pieces of paper. I'll keep this. Get a little more cloth, and I th think that's it. I think we're done. This probably just pops back out into the garage, doesn't it? Yep, sure enough. Okay. It's a good thing you don't uh, take leg damage from the weight. All right, guys, well... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the non-essential stuff in here for the moment. Because I want to actually get, get this turned in before dark. So, fortifying grip mod. Let's hang on to that. We'll put uh, the iron. Yeah, let's see. What else? We can put the feathers in there. Uh, we can put the leather leg armor. The egg, I guess. So we need to come up with six more things. We, oh, the shovel we can just scrap. We don't need that at all. So we'll scrap that. We'll put the extra shotgun shells in there for the moment. Um, I, I don't want to sell any of this armor until I go and, and see what we have back at the base. And then one more thing. Choose one more thing, old guy. Uh, two things of coal. There we go. All right. Let's, ch let's just hoof it back really quick uh, to the trader to turn this in, and then we'll wrap up this episode.
All right, guys. We are here. And let's go see what we get out of this deal. Here you go, friend. A steel Whatever shovel or a beaker. Just say the word. Wow. You know, we have access to the Kim bench here. So I think I'm going to go with the steel shovel because we're currently just using an iron shovel, which I left back at that house. And that's a, a, a three durability too. So yeah, that's a nice little little gift there. All right, cool. Um, what jobs you have now? So we've got... I'm just going to choose whatever's closest. So we've got another fetch that's uh, only 600 meters away to the north. I'm so let's do that God one. Bless you and good luck. Okay, cool. Now let's go take a look and see if the rest of our hollow points are done. Uh, wait, no. We weren't able to do that. We were making gunpowder is what we were doing. 712 gunpowder. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. All right, so we're just going to stick all of this in here. Um, and looks like I've got a bunch more lead mining to do. Of course, we still have a bunch of lead that's was cooking up in the, uh, the forge when I last left you guys. All right, guys, well, that's it for this episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably run home drop off some stuff, and then go back and grab the rest of our loot, which we parked in front of the house, which was up here somewhere. And, you know, just kind of get some inventory management going. And then work on, um, you know, depending upon how much time is left overnight, maybe mine up some more lead and stuff like that. And then uh, we've got this next retrieve the supplies quest. Uh, you, you notice, too, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, I am almost to the next level, too, which is fantastic. And once we hit level 18, we are going to get... We're going to get the the uh, first point in... Whose was it here? Uh, Grease Monkey. And we're going to start working on making ourselves a bicycle. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.